Hello, and welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we will demonstrate to you how you can restrict and secure unauthorized access to your Drupal APIs using the Drupal API Authentication Module. This module allows you to authenticate your API requests by verifying the identity of clients using various methods. In this video, we will see how to configure JWT token-based authentication method. This method involves including a JWT in your API request to verify your identity. When your application sends an API request to Drupal, the module will authenticate the provided JWT. If the JWT is valid, then you will be allowed to access the Drupal resources. However, if the JWT is invalid or missing, then the Drupal API authentication module will restrict your access and send an error message. Before proceeding with the video, please ensure you have installed the Mini Orange REST and JSON API authentication module on your Drupal site. We already have a video and setup guide for the installation. You will find links for both in the description. Once you have installed the module, please go to the Extend tab of the Drupal site. Scroll down to the Web Services section. Ensure that you have installed the selected modules. The REST UI is a contributed module that provides you with a user interface for configuring REST resources. You can also do this by simply modifying the config. Let's take the example of creating a basic page using the Postman application in Drupal. Click on the Configure button. Scroll down to the Content section, and click on the Enable button. Now, as our goal is to create basic page, for that select the following configuration. And click on the Save Configuration button. Go to the Configuration tab, and select REST API Authentication Configuration. Under the API Authentication tab, Select JWT method. Enter the attribute name, which will contain your username. If you are using an external JWT token, you can validate the token by entering JWKSURI in this field. And then click on the Save JWT Configuration button to save your configuration. Let's try to make server-to-server -server call using the Postman application, to see if this method is working correctly or not. In your Postman application, the first step will be getting an ID token from Drupal. However, if you are using an external ID token, you can skip this step. Enter the URL for getting the ID token. Now, select the basic auth type from the authorization tab. Enter the Drupal username and password. And click on the send button. You have successfully generated the ID token. Save this token somewhere. Once we have got the JWT token, we use this token to authenticate our API call to Drupal. Now, enter the URL for creating the basic page. Under the body tab, enter the values to create basic page. You can also find a sample format of these values in the description. And click on the send button. If you noticed, as we have not provided the generated token in the authorization header, so our module restricts this call. Now, select the bearer token type under the authorization tab. Enter the generated token here. If you want, you can also provide an external JWT here. And click on the send button. You have successfully created the basic page, by making an API request. Let's see, if the page has been created on the Drupal site. Navigate to the content tab of the Drupal site. As you can see our page is successfully created here. Thank you for watching the video, if you have any questions please reach out to us at drupalsupportedsecurify.com.